Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look on how to install an automatic gear knob. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to take off the old one and put on the new one that I bought. So um, yeah, let's hop. The gear knob I got is a automatic one. Um, as you can see over here, it says automatic. So I have learned from one of my other friends that he bought the normal one. It looks exactly the same, just doesn't say automatic here. So it doesn't push up and down, it's just a fixture. So yeah, I have already opened it, but um, just to show you guys how it comes. It comes pretty complete. Um, so yeah, you've got your Allen key and your little screws to adjust it. So um, yeah, but let's take off this one. I'll show you guys how to do that. So you just gotta pull that one down. You got a little clip over here. I would not recommend losing these, because apparently they're quite difficult to find. But yeah, if you want to ever put it back. So, all you got to do then is push the selection button and then just pull up pretty hard, firmly, and it comes out. So, um, but yeah, like I say, I don't recommend you guys by any chance lose this one. It's actually got a slot over here where it goes back into. So, if you ever want to attach it back, you're going to need that. So, I just recommend keeping that safe. But, um, yeah, just be careful when you guys open it up. Um, there's a lot of grease on this thing, yeah? So, um, yeah. But without further ado... But, um, yeah, so you just slide it over. <clears throat> so what happens is, when this piece is attached, this one slides up and down to select your, your um, gears. So, once this one gets pushed down like that, you can select a gear. So... I do recommend dropping it all the way down and just letting it rest on the top and then fastening it. So, um, just get out these Allen key and screws. The nice thing is they supply you with an Allen key, so I don't actually have to go looking for one, which is pretty cool. Um, so they give you one spare one, so you'll see there's four in here. You're only going to use three, um, and the other one is a spare one. So, yeah, let's just... Just don't want to lose these. Let's just put it down here. So all I'm gonna do is just put them in and then screw them in piece for piece equally, so that the gear lever knob or so that the knob itself isn't skew. So that's all I'm gonna do now. Is just first get these three in. You can do it on the gear lever, or you can even just take it off and do it. Whatever's gonna make it easier for you. Everyone has got their own tastes on how to do things. They don't go in so easy. You actually have to kind of, like, for the first thread, you've got to push it quite hard just to get it in there. Once it's in, it's very easy. So, the third one. So, that one's in. And then, yeah. Whoops. Found it. Alright. So just stick it in there and then adjust these piece by piece. I'm just adjusting them equally. Um, so I just want them all to be flush with the metal. So just adjust one at a time. And then yeah, make it nice and tight. So it doesn't rattle around. Can you believe it now? So yeah, and then it will select. So the other cool thing that <clears throat> I saw about these let me just put this away so I don't lose it. The cool thing is you can take them apart. So if ever you need to put more grease in, um, you just screws off and then you can put grease in. So, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to loosen it down here again to put in more grease. 
So, um, and I have heard some friends that put grease in here as well, just so when it's sliding up and down, it doesn't make too much noise. So, um, yeah, if, if you guys want to do that, you can as well. And then it just fastens back like that. Nice and tight. So, yeah, it does turn all the time by looks things. So, um, yeah, it could be something to get used to. Now it's just time for a good clean. There we go, guys. That's how you do the automatic gear shift knob. Um, it's very easy. So, um, but yeah, let's have a look if it selects correctly. come out of park until you push it down so um and it comes out pretty easy we're going to neutral but it won't go back to reverse until you push it down again so at least you know that it's not going to just bounce out while you're busy driving or whatever and drive manual yeah selects manual first gear will go up and down so um Back to neutral then it won't go reverse again until if you push it down same with park i'll go down until you push it down so yeah at least that works which is good um yeah it's a pretty basic straightforward install um but we'll see how it how it works when we drive So this is the first drive with a new gear lever on. Um, just gonna go give it a test and see how it goes. So yeah, let's have a look. Select's pretty easy, pretty good. Tiptronic and see <clears throat> if we can still select the gears. So uh, it's in manual now. Let's have a look how it selects its gears. So it does shift correctly. So um, which is a good thing.
so yeah guys as you can see it works it selects skiers very well um, it doesn't rattle a lot when I'm driving so um, at least it's very quiet so yeah that's it it's in it's working drives so thumbs up to that install at least it was pretty easy and uh, if you guys have any questions um, just comment in the comment section and um, yeah I'll be happy to answer any questions if you guys are battling or anything like that uh, there isn't any problem and um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, so hit the subscribe button and the like button and um, yeah I hope that the video is going to help you guys.